Good morning, Abundant TV. I hope you're having a blessed day. It is beautiful here in the state of Georgia. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to encourage you to keep enjoying this season of Easter. It is a season that's so much bigger than one day. But one of the things that we do talk about this time of the year is how we are children of the resurrection. We know because of what Jesus did for us, we too shall live, we'll have eternal life. But I wanna just challenge you today to think about this in broader terms. Resurrection is more than victory over death, but is also a reverse of the curse. You see, when Jesus walked out of that grave, he ushered in a new creation. And I love how the Bible scholar N.T. Wright puts it. He says, resurrection is new creation on the loose. So what does that mean for us? Um, you know, a lot of times this time of year, we hear the, the scripture that says that same resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. And that's true. But what does that mean in a broad sense? What does it mean for here and now? You see, it's more than just having victory over our personal sin. You see, when we are united with Christ in his death, we'll be united with Christ in his resurrection. And think of that in terms as the new creation on the loose. So we have to unite with him. First of all, we have to die before we're resurrected. So what is a death like his? Well, we have to go back to Calvary and think about what was his death like? Well, it was about surrender. It was about forgiveness. It was about laying aside his rights. And you see, when we are functioning in this resurrection power, the Holy Spirit will allow us or will enable and empower us to do the same things. You see, we're living in this new creation. It's the suspension of not yet and already, but resurrection power will enable us to walk in that kingdom life, modeling kingdom principles like grace and mercy and peace and love. You see, God will give us supernatural power to put down our agendas and to put down our right to be right, to be a voice for the voiceless, to scoot over and to make room for others, and to bring about equality and justice and peace. You see, that's what resurrection power is all about for the here and now. Romans 6, 5 says this, for if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. That's where we are now. We need to be walking in that newness of life, modeling new creation, modeling kingdom living of grace, mercy, and peace. Have a blessed week.